Hey, good morning. I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the Bible, going straight through. We are in the Gospel of Mark, and we've gotten to chapter 7 through 9. We started on Saturday. Mark is a short book full of action and, and not a lot of talking. It's a lot of what Jesus did. But right here in the middle, we see the climax. We see the, the most dramatic moments when Jesus lays it all on the table, says to his disciples, who do people say I am? And the disciples say, well, some say you're a prophet, some say you're John the Baptist. And he says, who do you say I am? And Peter says, you're the Christ. You're the chosen one, you're the Messiah, you're the son of God, you are the one we've been waiting for. And Jesus commends him for it. And then Jesus tells of his coming death and resurrection. And, and the disciples can't handle it. They can't understand it. But then he goes on to say, just as the Messiah is a sacrificial lamb, as the Messiah is one who comes and gives himself. So you have to give yourself. You have to give your life. You have to be willing to give up everything. You have to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. He who wants to save his life must lose it. I mean, these are strong ideas, strong words, strong truths that haven't changed. The cost of discipleship has not changed. And living in a modern society in the West, it's hard to think about really giving up our lives for Christ because frankly, it's too easy. It's too easy to be a Christian. But if we really look at things, what Christ calls us to, calls us to go against almost everything that our culture promotes. And we've got to be willing to give up our rights, our personal rights, our liberties. We've got to be willing to give up freedom. We've got to be willing to give up everything for the good of the kingdom. We've got to be willing to give up all of our possessions. We've got to be willing to let others take the first place. I don't know about you, but that's hard for me. But the cost of discipleship has not changed. We've got to give it all up. We've got to lose our lives. If we want to gain them, if we want to save them, if we want to live with Christ forever, we've got to let go renounce all of our rights. The only right we have is to be called servants of God. Let's pray. Father God, we want to follow Jesus. Help us to give up to the, all the idols that we cling to so desperately and help us to give up our very lives. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope you have a great Monday.